I don't want to be weak to not have the strength to stand up and move my feet across the ground. I don't want to be sickly or ill. I'm afraid of that the most. The life seeping out of me like steam from a train engine. And the wheels chug along so slow until finally it just stops spinning altogether. to think of something lasting forever, going on and on with no end. But love? I know love is infinite. A love even after I'm dead. Like I know my mother still loves me. Up, Alice. You have school this morning. I don't want to go to school today. We've only just moved here. If you want to make any new friends, you have to go to school. You must go to school every day. You know that. You have to go this day and the next and the next. There is no getting around that.
again. Thank you. 
go to heaven when we die, can we ever come back to Earth to see what it's like in the future? No. Well, I don't know if I want to be stuck up in heaven and never see the oceans or the forest again. You won't need to see the ocean or the forest if you're in heaven. Why not? I don't know, I just know you won't need to. Well, what about angels? Angels come back from heaven? Yes, there are angels here on Earth, but you are not one of them. You're very far from it. You know, you might be able to better answer that question if you actually pay attention in school. I'm as good as a student as any other. I just tend to daydream is all. Someday all your daydreaming will get you into trouble. You know, Father spends very good money to keep you in that private school. The least you could do is learn a thing or two while you're there. It's summer now. I would like very much to forget about school and remember what it's like to sit beneath the sun all day. Very well. Do as you wish. You always do anyway. Do you think we've been here long enough? Long enough for what? Well, we moved here a few months ago, and I feel like I haven't really met anyone yet, aside from my classmates. You know, the only people I can socialize with are the folks from church. The Protestants simply don't like us at all, and there's a lot more of them than there are of us. Is that why that boy yelled at me on my way to school yesterday? Father McAvoy was talking about radical ideas and new ways of doing old traditions, and how we shouldn't let the backwards become forwards, or the insane become sane, or the lie become the word of truth. But I want to meet strange and new people. I want to hear new ideas and meet the strange and eccentric. I want to meet the kind of people who will change the world, the kind of people in picture shows. I knew we shouldn't have taken you to see that movie. But then I think maybe we haven't been here long enough. Well, let's see, we've been here for three months, so yes, I think it's right about time to meet one of those new and exciting people. Are you patronizing me? What? Patronizing, I learned it in school, it means to be- I know what it means. Well, are you patronizing me? No, of course not. Well, maybe a little. Very well then. When do you want some tea? I'm bored and tired of being patronized. In a moment. However, you can brew it yourself if you wish. The saucers are in the basket. Where's my teacup? How should I know, Alice? Well, it's not here. It must have been left somewhere. Well, maybe it's at home. I'll go back and get it. I said I'll go back home and get it. Do what you must. golden afternoon full leisurely we glide, for both our oars with little skill by little hands are plied, while little hands make vain pretense our wanderings to guide. O oh, cruel three, in such an hour beneath such dreamy weather, to beg a tale of breath too weak to stir the tiniest feather, yet what can one poor voice avail against three tongues together? Imperious prima flashes forth her edict to begin it, in gentler tone Secunda hopes there will be nonsense in it while Tertia interrupts the tale not more than once a minute. Oh, now I'm late! I've got to be going now. Good day, miss. Oh, now I'm going to be too late.
Anon to sudden silence one, in fancy they pursue, the dream child moving through a land of wonders wild and new. In front Wait, of mister, of what is your name? And ever as the story drained the wells of fancy dry, in the faintly strove that weary one to put the subject by. Can you please stop and tell me who you are? The rest next time, it is next time, the happy voices cry. <laughs> I'll never fit in there. What are you talking about? Of course you won't fit in there. It's a rabbit hole.
Oh dear, how weird everything is today. And yesterday, everything seemed to go on just as usual. I wonder if I've changed persons in the night. Let me think. Did I feel the same when I woke up this morning? I think I can remember feeling a little bit different. But if I'm not the same, then the next question is who in the world am I? I'm sure I'm not Ada, for her hair goes in such ringlets, and mine doesn't go in ringlets at all. And I can't be Mabel for and all sorts of things, and well, she knows so very little. And besides, she's she, and I'm I. Oh, how very confusing it all is. I must have been changed for Mabel. Now I shall live in that pokey little house and I'm next to no friends and have oh so many lessons to learn. No, I've made up my mind. If I am Mabel, then I'll stay down here. And I'll do them no use poking their heads down here and saying, come up again, dear. I'll just look right up and say, well, who am I then? Tell me that, and if I like being that person, I'll come up. And if I don't, no, stay down here until I'm somebody else. I do wish they would put their heads down here, though. I'm so very tired of being all alone. Loneliness is a curious thing. On the one hand, loneliness can be a dreadful cross to bear, leaving one in a lasting state of isolation and self-dependence. On the other hand, loneliness gives us a chance to examine our thoughts. What have you been thinking of, Alice? I think I'll be going now. Do you? Nothing to fear, Alice. You've met my brother, haven't you? The man with the white shoes. He's led you down awfully far. There are those of us who are supposed to be here, and those who are not. I do believe it's time you go back, Alice. Take my hand. I don't want to. We don't always get what we want.
Sit down, all of you. I'll have you dry soon enough. You all look ready now? This is the driest thing I know. Silence all around now, if you please. <clears throat> William the Conqueror, whose cause was favored by the Pope, was soon submitted to by the English who wanted leaders and had been of late much accustomed to usurpation and conquest. Edwin and Morcar, the Earls of Mercia and Northumbria. <laughs> I beg your pardon, did you speak? Not me. I thought you did. I'll proceed. <laughs> Edwin and Morcar, the Earls of Mercia and uh, Northumbria, declared for him and even Stagion, the patriotic Archbishop of Canterbury, found it advisable. Found it? Found it? Of course. You know what it means? I know what it means well enough. When I find a thing, it's generally a pretty girl or a fine bottle of liquor. The question is, what did the Archbishop find? William's conduct was at first moderate, but the insolence of his Normans How are you getting on now, my dear? I'm as wet as ever. I, I don't think this is drying me at all. In that case, I move that we adjourn the meeting for the immediate adoption of more energetic remedies. Oh, speak English. I don't understand half those long words. And what's more, I don't think you do either. What I was going to say is that the best way to dry us off would be a caucus race. What is a caucus race? It is a sort of exercise, but the best way to explain it is to do it.
lost? Oh, you startled me sitting up in the tree that way. That's not an answer to my question. Lost. Are you lost? Well, I, I don't quite know, sir. You have to be going somewhere to be lost, and seeing as I have no place to go... <laughs> You're a silly one, aren't you? My brothers seem to think you were lost. Brothers? You mean the one with the white shoes and that dreadful man with the wool duster? One and the same, they and I. You'll come to realize that down here, we're all one and the same, really. Whatever do you mean? Wait, please come back. Tell me where I ought to go from here. I'd try the opium den. Thank you.
I don't quite know, sir. I know who I was when I woke up this morning, but I think I have changed several times since then. What do you mean by that? Explain yourself. I can't explain myself because I'm not myself. Mm. I don't see. I'm afraid I can't put it any more clearly. I don't understand it myself. And being so many different sizes in a day is very confusing. It isn't. Well, perhaps you haven't found it so... <coughs> well, perhaps you haven't found it so yet. But when you have to die, and you will someday, you know, you will be dressed up and cramped into a tiny little box and buried into the ground and disappear into the earth. That will feel a little bit weird, won't it? Not a bit. Perhaps you feel a little different, but it would feel very weird to me. You. Who. Are. You. Don't you think you ought to tell me who you are first? Why? Wait. Come back. I have something important to say. Keep your temper. Is that all? No. So, you think you've changed, do you? I'm afraid I have, sir. I can't remember what I used to. Can't remember what things? Well, when I try to look back, I can't remember where I came from or how exactly I got here. That's not quite right. What size did you want to be? Well, a little older would be nice. I don't care to be quite so young. One side will make you grow taller. The other side will make you grow smaller.
o'clock in Canada, we're having French tea. Let's grab the tea cups. Tea time. Tea time. What's her name? Alice. Just like you? She's in Wonderland. So keep it there. Then what we're going to do is put it right through here. Three, two, right about there. Okay. Hello again. You. Lost yet? I'm afraid so. Oh, so you found yourself someplace to go. Yes, I'd like to go to the garden. You know, the one behind the little door? No garden, never heard of it. You're lying. No, I just haven't the slightest idea what you're talking about. Do you know of someone who could point me in the right direction? Well, 
any garden would be downtown, so you could ask the doctor or the painter. Ask either one you like, they're both mad. Well, I don't want to go among mad people. <laughs> you don't have a choice, do you? We're all mad here. Wait, stop! Will you please tell me where this doctor and painter are? That away. I rather like the look of that away. Why, you don't know anything at all! And neither do you, silly little girl. That away. So I looked at the prostitute and she <laughs> said to me, I am a man! <laughs> no! No! No room! No! Man, Absolutely please, not! No room! No what are you talking room. about? Of course there's room! And I do miss a good tea. This isn't a tea party. Well then what are you drinking? Cough medicine. Mm -hmm. Do you have a cough? <coughs> yes. It's medicine. Indeed. Have some wine. I don't see any wine. That is because there isn't any. Well, it wasn't very nice of you to offer it. Well, it wasn't very nice of you to sit down without being invited. Are those your paintings? No, they're mine, you see. I am the painter, and he is my doctor. You know, your hair wants cutting. You should learn not to make such personal remarks. It's very rude. Tea, doctor. I guess I never learn what is rude and what isn't. There's a fly in my cup. Change places. Change places. Change places. What was your name again? Alice. 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 I like that. Tell me, Alice, why is a raven like a writing desk? Oh, I like riddles. Let's see. You can't see it. It's a riddle. Well, I mean, I'll see if I can guess it. Do you mean that you think you can find the answer? Exactly so. <laughs> then you should say what you mean. I do. At least, at least I mean what I say is the same thing you know. It's not the same thing one bit. No, you might as well say that I eat what I see is the same thing as I see what I eat. <laughs> <laughs> or I get what I want is just the same as I want what I get. Well, it is the same thing with you, <laughs> doctor. <laughs> May I have some? No. This is not for the likes of you. I will not have it! But it's medicine. Indeed. Hmm. Is that why they call you mad? Because of the medicine? They call me mad? Change places! Change places! I've heard it said before, 
<laughs> so. <laughs> she is just as mad as we are. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. I'm terribly sorry, dear, but it is true. Tell me about your mother. She's dead. Mouse. And uh, what day of the month is it? The fourth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. No, it's two days wrong. Again. Yeah. <sighs> oh, dear. I told you that the butter would not suit the works. It was the best of the butter. Yes. But some of the crumbs must have gotten in. Then I guess I should have put it in with the bread knife. Should I have, Doctor? What an interesting <clears throat> watch. It tells the day of the month, but not what o'clock it is. Why should it? Does your watch tell you what year it is? Hmm? No, of course not. But that's because it stays the same year for such a long time. Which is just the case of mine. Have you uh, guessed my riddle yet? No, I give up. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea. <laughs> Nor I. Well, you shouldn't waste your time going around asking riddles that you don't have answers to. If you knew time half as well as I did, you wouldn't talk about wasting it. It, my dear lady, is a him. I don't understand. I dare say you've never even met time, have you? Well, perhaps not, but I know I have to beat time when I learn music. Ha! Ah, that accounts for it. No, no, he won't stand beating. If only I'd kept on good terms with him. Hmm. <laughs> Are either of you going downtown later? I was thinking of <laughs> going. No, not me, see. I'm not allowed downtown anymore. Last time I went, I thought I'd sing a little song. So what did I sing? Well, it went something like this. <clears throat> twinkle, twinkle, little bat, how I wonder what you're at. You know the song, perhaps? I've heard something like it. <laughs> when it goes on, you see, up above the world you fly like a tea tray in the sky. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. twinkle, 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 twinkle. <laughs> well, I'd hardly gotten past the first verse when a policeman, he comes up to me and shouts, hey, stop him, he's madder than a hatter. How dreadfully savage. Oh, yes, indeed it was. Were you arrested? Uh, <laughs> me? Of course not. No, I, I'm here now, aren't I? Doctor? Well, civil obedience, my lady, is for the squares anyway. I've always thought of myself more of a Q. You've always been a bit crazy, haven't you? Crazy? Listen, when they come back, I'm not going with them. I just thought I'd 
Let me know that. You don't know what it's like in here. It's not sanitary. You're not from around here, are you? I can always tell. You, you're very pretty, you know that? I know. Oh. Yes, you do. I mean, thank you. Could you... I mean... Would you loosen my straps? They've been pulled so awfully tight, I can't even feel my hands. I don't think I can do that. No, it's, it's very easy, see? Pull the strap on the back, right here. I'll be free and feeling better in no time.
Feeling much better, thank you. <laughs> But please, don't tell me I'm the only one that can see that girl standing over there. One of the patients has escaped from her room. Get her back there! Hello? Are those your drawings? Yes, they are. You see, I am the painter, and he is my doctor. Who is this? That's Alice. She's very pretty, isn't she? Can you tell me where she went? I, I, I'm not allowed to go anymore. The, 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 the doctor told me I'm not allowed to go anymore, so... Uh, tell me, where are we right now? Where is this? T? Oh, yes, thank you. Nothing quite like tea to warm the spirits. You know what I think? I think you're mad. Pardon? Crazy. No, 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 I, I'm, not, I'm not mad. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I just went downtown, but I'm not allowed to go downtown anymore. Good boy. <laughs> Change places. Oh, doctor. I'm free.
be so jumpy? Why the nerves? What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Hey, you better get in out of the rain, girl. You don't want to catch pneumonia or tuberculosis. That's better. And what's your name? Alice. That's a pretty name. Where are you from, Alice? I'm lost, actually. And I'm trying to find my way out. Or up. Up. Yes, I see. Fortunately, I'm afraid I can't help you. I'm not lost myself, you see, because I don't go anywhere. That also means I can't be found. Well, could you at least point me in the right direction? No, I can't help you. I'm the pestilent, the plague, the scourge, the infected. I suffer from the disease that is injected. No, I can't help you. Lying in the drain, eating the scraps, drinking the rain. No, I can't help you. Does it hurt? That's the problem, sweetie. It doesn't hurt a bit. Can't you go to the hospital? A hospital? I got this disease at a hospital from doctors and scientists working in their labs and petri dishes. Now they're not interested in caring for us now anyway. Not when there's a real sick going around. Well, what about a cure? There's gonna be a cure for every disease one day, you know. Someday, people will live forever no matter what their illness is. And how do you know that? I just do. People can still create good things. Great things. If you want to see some good, you might want to start right here. Looks like they're getting ready to do some regular evil over by that tree. No sense in messing with me, miss. I'm already dead. That fellow over yonder, he's about to get strung up for something he can't do nothing about. No word from him is gonna stop that noose from tightening around his neck. Alice might find the help you need by helping others. The righteous are impenetrable to the spears of sin. Righteous.
There, there. Don't cry. Your tears make this much harder. Don't be afraid, Alice. I'm taking you home. You want that, don't you? You can't stay here. Your presence disturbs things. You understand, don't you? Miss, but I was just about to be leaving. Nonsense. Where are you off to at this hour? Home? <laughs> I think not. I happen to know for a fact that you are very far from your home. Come. You should stay here and make your time useful. We're cleaning some machinery in the back. I'll teach you how to strip a gear housing. Customary to lock the doors when we are working. Makes things more productive. Will you do the honors? Very good, Alice. Now bring it back to me.
wake up! Wake up, Alice! Are you all right? God, I've had such a curious dream. A dream? There was a rabbit and a man, and then I fell. I fell very far down, and at the bottom I cried because I couldn't remember who I was, and I couldn't get out. And then I almost drowned in my tears. Alice, this is madness! <sighs> Come now, it's time to go. Gather your things and we'll head back home. I suppose we'll be wanting to tell Father all about your afternoon adventures. No, I think I'll keep this to myself. For a while, anyways. Good, we shouldn't let Father get suspicious. Or maybe he'd like to know. Wait, what? Nothing. I said I don't believe he would be interested in your stories anyhow. Now, it is time to go. It's getting really late. You've had enough adventuring for one day, and I've had a good enough scare. Get Alice. 